U.S. Water Rockets presents the Micro Camera Hacking Tutorial Part 2. In this second installment in this tutorial video, we will show you how to create the hardware necessary to program the flash memory chip which we removed from the Micro Camera in Part 1 of the series. Our simple solution to accomplish this is to modify the inexpensive evaluation kits from Texas Instruments for their MSP430 microcontroller. To obtain one, go to www.ti.com slash launchpad and scroll down to the Launchpad Wiki link. Here you can place an order from the TI web store for your own launchpad. The MSP430 Launchpad is an evaluation kit designed to familiarize engineers with the TI MSP430 line of microcontrollers, but the price makes it a good starting point for various microcontroller projects. While waiting for delivery, we will need to build a connection between the flash memory chip and the Launchpad board. For this, we will choose to simply solder some wires to make the connection. For bulk programming, you could connect the socket to the wires or make an adapter board if you prefer. To solder the wires to the flash memory chip, simply heat each leg and add a touch of solder. Then bring a wire to the solder and hold it steady for a few seconds while the solder cools and solidifies. The result will look like this. Next, we will need to get some driver software for our launch pad. This can also be obtained from the Launchpad Wiki on the TI website. On the Launchpad Wiki website, you will find links to the Code Composer Studio and IAR Embedded Workbench Kickstart development software. Downloading and following the installation instructions for either of these packages will load the appropriate drivers on your computer. In a few days, you should receive your Launchpad delivery. When you open up the TI Launchpad package, you will find it contains a lot of extra goodies like decals, connectors, two different microcontrollers, etc. We're interested in the Launchpad board and the USB cable for this tutorial. Follow the diagram shown here to connect the wires from the flash memory chip to the proper pins on the Launchpad board. Connect each wire to the terminals on the board as shown. You can pause this video to see the diagram more clearly. Soldering the wires to the TI launch pad is similar to the soldering you just did on the chip. Add heat and apply some solder to the terminal with the wire held in place and wait for the solder to cool. Solder each wire until you have completed all eight wires. When finished, your launch pad should look like this. You now have a very low cost programming tool for the flash memory chip, which we will use in our next video to remove the timestamp from the camera firmware. This concludes part two of our tutorial. In our next video, we will complete the upgrade and demonstrate the modified camera in action. Thanks for watching. 